Hey guys, this is Monica with Romo Plans and today I am here in my new plum paper vertical priorities planner and we're going to plan this week. So I am using this planner for work and I have a flip through of this planner um, on my channel if you want to take a look at that and check it out. I kind of talk about a little bit more in detail of why I chose this planner for work but I won't, I don't know if I'll be doing a ton of plan with me's in this just because this is where I get really detailed. Like in my weekly planner, I'll put meeting, but this is kind of where I put what the meeting is. So it has a little bit more sensitive information than my normal weekly planner. But I wanted to just show y'all how I am, how I've been using this. And I say that very loosely because it's been one week, but I absolutely loved using it. Um, last week I was off for three days and then the two days that I was back, it was just one of those week days, you know, I was coming back from a holiday week. I was only working for two days. And so I was basically like putting out fires, making sure, trying to make sure and get everything done. So it wasn't like, Hey, I'm going to make this plan for the weekend <laughs> and everything. So, um, but the first week that I used it, it worked really well for me. So yeah, I'm just going to kind of show y'all what I've been doing and how I'm making this work for me um, because I only need it Monday through Friday. So I'm just going to go ahead and pop these off of the discs. Whenever I am planning in a disc planner, I always like to just pop. Um, I always like to plan off of the discs. It just makes it a lot simpler. And this week... I'm going to be using, I picked up some kits from Fern Creek stickers. I really like Fern Creek. Um, I haven't used her stickers in a while. So I ended up picking up some of her kits. This is kit 181. So I have the bottom washi. I have some skinny washi. This is the extras hourly. So the hourly checklist and Erin Condren line up pretty much perfectly with this planner so and what's nice is that on her extras hourly they're actually individual date headers so i don't have to cut any strips or anything they're still individual and then i just have her boxes and her full boxes so and i don't know um you know i kind of did this and i don't know if i'll have enough left over um, I didn't buy two sets of the date headers or anything, so we'll see. I may have to put another order for some extras just so I can use it in my hourly planner. But I'm going to go ahead and start with putting the dates down. So we're gonna we're actually planning the 11th through the 15th because this is my work planner. I am not planning out on Saturday and Sunday. Okay, so I will say that I like the fact that the date dots are the same color, but they're cut exactly the size of the circle. So you kind of have to put it down exactly right, not to get any of the white of the circle. So let's see how I'm gonna start this. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just put the date headers down. Oh, these are strips, but they don't look like strips. So let me go ahead and just cut these. All right, so let's see. That is interesting. I have not seen that before. Um, so this is the seven by nine planner. And I'm actually going to put a full box here. To cover up this calendar. Um, because the date header actually goes a little bit on top of it. And it'll go up. It'll go into the that box a little bit, you know. So, so now that those are down, 
and I'm gonna go ahead and just put the checklist down so I am using this whole top section as like my checklist for the day so I labeled it to do and there is enough like checklists in here to cover the whole time so and then I'm gonna go ahead and put down my bottom washi and this um, the bottom washi doesn't fit into this whole area Gonna go ahead and put this side down. Okay, so it's a little bit short and it also is a little bit long, which is not a big deal. So I'm just cutting this part off. And then I'm going to add in this piece of thin washi here. And this is definitely something that, I mean, you don't really need to add in the thin washi, but I like to do it. Um, I like the contrast of the washi, but then also, it just kind of helps fill in that little bitty spot. So now that that is done, the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these boxes and I'm gonna put, I'm gonna put the green ones. I'm gonna put a green one here. Um, I am using the seven by nine planner. So the columns are not one and a half inch, they are, um bigger than one and a half inch there we go so that is just something to kind of keep in mind if you're wanting to get this planner i think that a5 is very close to one and a half inch i'm not completely sure um because i haven't had an a5 so with the a5 i think you don't get this bottom bar and then I think the columns are obviously a little bit shorter but I'm not sure exact the exact measurements of those either so on these I am just putting team and I haven't printed off I haven't made stickers for this yet and then I'm putting next week Um, because I don't need Saturday and Sunday because I'm using this for work, what, what I've been doing is using this box for anything that's specific to my team that I need to remember. And then this box is anything that comes up that needs to be pushed to next week. So if something comes up on like Thursday or Friday and I'm like, this isn't going to get done this week. I can, but I can do it next week. I go ahead and put this down. So when I'm planning, um, I can plan when I'm going to do that. 
because otherwise what I've been doing is just putting sticky notes on my desk. And while I love sticky notes, I need a better place to do that. So these top two boxes, I really don't know what to do with. I've been kind of putting notes for like a specific weekly meeting that we have. So anything that comes up, but I really am not sure what to do with those boxes. So I'm actually going to leave them there for right now. I'm just going to leave them blank. I'm going to go ahead and put in boxes for my meetings. So on Monday, I have a one o'clock meeting. So I'm just going to put one. And then I can put in the actual meeting later. I'm just going to put the times in right now. And then on Tuesday, I have a 10 and a 1.30. I'm actually going to move this 1 o'clock down. Just because it looks weird to have like the 10 o'clock right next to it. So. so those are my meetings for Tuesday. And then on Wednesday, I have a 9 o'clock and a 1 o'clock. put those in and then Thursday I just have a one o'clock Friday, I don't have any meetings, so I'm going to put this pretty floral full box. And because like the column is not one and a half, I'm just going to kind of put it a little bit slanted there. So, and actually... I just realized that that washi matches, or that full box matches that, and I don't know if I want them to match. I'm gonna move this. And then I can put this over it. That works better. So I am going to go ahead and just put a label at the top of this. And then a label at the top of this one. Just so if I decide what to do with that, then I can label it. And that's it. That's all I'm going to really do right now. Um, like I said, my to-do list, my meetings, my habits, um, those I will fill in later on <laughs> off camera. But this is kind of how um, I'm setting up my planner for work. Just you know, it has a spot for my, my things that I need to do every day. And then it has a to-do list for the day. And then I can, I'm able to see my schedule. But the big thing is here is the team section and then the next week section, because that just kind of helps me go from week to week and make sure I'm not forgetting anything. So, and then these two sections are kind of random miscellaneous. I'm still trying to figure it out. But that is how I am planning for work. 
So let me know down below if you have a work planner. Um, I know the work planning part of it, it's kind of odd because, you know, I have an Outlook calendar that has everything in there, but there's a lot of stuff that I need to do, a lot of projects I need to do that kind of, I like to have that to-do list written down. So let me know down below what you do for your work planning or if you have a system. And I hope you liked this video. If you did, go ahead, hit that like button and hit subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any more of my videos. I hope you have a great day.